In today's video, I'm going to be showing you cards, a blast from the past using the June 2020 She Loves Card Sketch, along with my set from Club EP, Our Story Matters. Stay tuned. Hello, my crafty friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be making two cards with the June 2020 Sheet Love Card Sketch. And I think this is one of my favorites because it has these beautiful flag pieces. These are the supplies I'll be using. These are from my Club EP kit, the May kit. And I've already cut the, the flag cardstock. And these are all my separate pieces that I will be using. I picked three beautiful sheets here and I will go ahead and cut these and be right back. All right, as you can see here, I have all my pieces cut and this makes six, but I'm only gonna make three today. So let's get started. These are my A2 cards. They're gonna fold top down, cut at four and a quarter and then scored at five and a half but I'm just gonna fold it over on itself and burnish with my bone folder. This is a 100 pound cardstock, so it's easier to fold by itself. Now if it was 110, I'd more than likely use the scoreboard because it is a little thicker. I will be using my fishtail punch from Stampin' Up. I'm gonna put fishtail in each of these. This is Blue Hydrangea, Martha Stewart. This is Garden Green. And of course, this is just plain white. This is gonna be for our sentiment. Like so. Make sure, try to get it as even as you can. Okay, there's those. Now these are both the same size. The blue and the garden green are both the same size but I will be able to trim it from the top to put them on my card. You'll see that shortly. Okay, so all that's, no, let's see. Do we need to, yes. Let's see, make sure to cut the fish tail in the pattern paper before matting. So, yes. And we'll just match everything up. So let's make sure to get put back where they go so I don't get everything mixed up and waste time looking for stuff. That never happens, does it? Right, let's get the card bases out of the way so I have more room to work. So we're gonna mat these pieces first. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. I'm gonna make sure the fishtail lines up and then I'm gonna trim here. That's not a problem. It'll go right, I'll mat it and then I'll trim it. Okay. 
through all of them at once and then we'll trim. scissors here a second ago. Okay. I'm going to use my big scissors. Okay, this goes straight to the top. Like so. are cut. Now let's stamp the sentiment pieces and then the inside of the card. I'm going to be using You Are Wonderful for the outside here right about in the middle so they can put enamel dot, an enamel dot on top and then in the inside it's going to be thanks for the smile and everything else. Thank you cards. And I'm going to stamp a little flower in the inside also with watermelon wonder and then the flower is going to be marina mist Let's do the inside of the card, the card base at this point. This sentiment came from the Dragonfly Dreams stamp set from Stampin' Up. flower. All right. So our stamping is done. Now we can assemble the cards. Card fronts. Put these over here for the moment. We want one shorter than the other. So that means we're gonna do some more trimming. that off. And we'll put that right there. Perfect. There is this one. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the front. This panel paper will cover up the whole front of the card. Just like that, here are the cards. Now let's decorate.
wonderful colors of enamel dots. Here are my three cards. The Sheet Load Rewind from June 2020. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.